Thank you, Paul. Uh, obviously, here from Western Australia, I'm here to talk about high-grade gold. I'm not talking about any equivalents. I'm not talking about battery minerals, unfortunately. I'm talking about high-grade gold. Uh, this is a picture I like to dwell on regularly. Uh, this is our Gilby system on the right-hand side there and our infrastructure in the top left-hand corner there. The Never Never Gold Deposit is sitting directly beneath those drill rigs right there. So you can see the proximity that we're talking about with our high-grade system. Gilby's historically has been known as a low-grade greenstone belt. I don't know what that is. Greenstone belts come in different shapes and sizes, but they generally have uh, endowments that vary in different grades. They also, you know, they contain lithium, they contain copper, they contain all kinds of things. But for me, I'd, I've never seen a low-grade greenstone belt. So for me, I didn't believe that this could only be low-grade. Uh, we drilled 140 metres of long strike from that pit, made a discovery. Uh, we expanded on that discovery another 300 metres further north, and we hit some seriously high-grade. 54 metres at six and a half, which had never been seen in that region before. We followed that up by drilling at right angles to that drill hole, because I didn't believe it. Uh, and we got 59 metres at 12 and a half. So some pretty serious grades, and I thought at that stage, okay, maybe we've got something good here. Uh, put the drill rig in between those two axes and drilled at 45 degrees to both holes and got 32 metres at 8.6. So we knew we were on something pretty special. 400 well, over 400 drill holes later, we're now looking at 721,000 ounces at 5.85. So we have changed the future of that greenstone belt. We've proven beyond any doubt that there is high grade in that region. Again, greenstone belts have that capacity. Uh, this is a corporate structure, left-hand side. Our share price is a moving feast at the moment, which is a good thing to see. Tribute to this, uh, this conference and some of the meetings I've been having. Market cap is around 200, 34.6 mil in the bank. Uh, two major shareholders there, Tambo Capital and, and Deutsche Belleton, two representatives on the board. Uh, but myself, Rowan Johnson uh, and David Coyne have sort of come through from the original recapitalised Gascoigne and now we're, we're moving forward with that team there. We started uh, in February, we recapped the company after shutting the mill down last year when it became uneconomic to run the, uh, the Gilby's low grade deposit. We'd made the discovery but with 12 million bucks in the bank at that point, I didn't want to run the risk of losing that asset. So what we did was we shut it down, we came up with a, a plan. This is the plan here. Uh, fortunately, unfortunately, depends on how you look at it, we smashed that plan. 600,000 high grade ounces has been uh, buried with our 700,000 ounce resource. The 300,000 ounce high grade reserve looks like a bit of a surety at the moment. The geometry of this deposit, and I'll go through that uh, shortly, you'll understand why I have uh, supreme confidence in, in converting a lot of that to reserve ounces. Five-year high-grade mine plan. We've had uh, various people throw stones at our ability to produce a five-year high-grade mine plan. We have a two and a half million tonne per annum plant. That is a big plant. You need a lot of tonnes to fill that up. And I'll go through how we think we're going to achieve that. We're funded. We're not coming back to the market anytime soon. We are funded through the middle of next year to make a decision whether we turn that plant back on. That plant is less than five years old. It can uh, easily process the material we've found. And one of the reasons I say I'm only here to talk about high-grade gold is because Never Never is a very clean ore body. It's probably the cleanest ore body I've ever seen in my almost 20 years uh, of mining high-grade gold. You don't see deposits like this. So this is a pretty special uh, deposit. Our team is focused fully on finding high-grade, uh, making Never Never bigger, finding more high grade in the area and filling that mill. We want to discover, we want to grow, and we're just going to keep repeating that. Seems to work for us. We are situated uh, in the Murchison region, which is why we're looking to change the name of Gascoigne uh, to something a little bit more fitting to our small team. We have plan A, there is no other plan. Our plan at this point in time is to fill that mill, find more high grade, pretty straightforward. High grade gives you options. Uh, we've We've changed the grade of that greenstone belt. We've delivered the scale that we need to produce a mine plan that is sustainable, uh, and we're going to keep growing with drilling. Uh, we put out an expiration target of 600,000 to a million ounces of high grade. Uh, we've obviously delivered 720,000 plus. Uh, so we think you know that was a very realistic target at the time. I'm pretty realistic about the targets that I set. Um, that expiration target is going to grow in the next, uh, the next few months. 
Group mineral resources, obviously with the help of that 721,000 at 5.85, we've now grown to almost 2 million ounces across the, the company. I'm going to focus primarily on the Murchison and on Dalgaranga. 16.7 million tonnes at 2.2 grams a tonne. We do the sums on a 2.5 million tonne per annum plant at that grade. At current gold prices, it works. Never Never Gold Deposit, as I've said, as ad nauseum, 3.8 million tonnes, 5.85 grams a tonne. That is the resource there, coloured by grade. Uh, you can see the oxidised environment in the open pit area sort of gets blown around, but there is a very distinct high grade plunging chute there. And then when you get into that fresh rock underground environment, the ounces per vert vertical metre go up. The grey bars there are what was in the previous mineral resource estimate. We were quite happy with those numbers. We could see they were increasing with depth. We wanted to see that trend continuing. This new resource, uh, you know, we've looked at it from five different directions. We've produced five different estimation methods. We've had it externally peer reviewed. We're really happy with what we're seeing here. Those gold bars there are showing an increasing trend in ounces per vertical metre as you get deeper. These are sort of the, the top highlights in terms of drilling. Those three red ones there are the three I discussed uh, in our initial discovery. Newmont used to classically say anything over 300 gram metres they'd get interested in. We're constantly delivering holes like that. Now, this is a significant ore body. In the almost 20 years, um, Six of those years were spent with Northern Star. Uh, we would very rarely see drill holes like this and we're seeing them regularly at this deposit. Six months after we started drilling this, we had 300,000 ounces. 12 months later, we have 721. And to go from zero to that number, you know, I'm pretty proud of that team that's, uh, that's delivered that. Now, I have made a bit of a mistake here. Cross-section and plan view have been mixed up. The cross-section on the left-hand side is meant to illustrate never, never but also the ink prospect that we've found in the hanging wall while drilling at this high grade prospect at Never Never, we've found a hanging wall prospect as well. We've named that the ink load, uh, three metres at 10, four at 24, you know, the 10 metres at 12, there's some really good intercepts out there. We want to grow that as well. Obviously finding high grade and then finding more next door is, uh, is a bonus. On the right hand side there, plan view, you can see that we've got uh, our prospect Outlined, you can see the density of drilling. In the open pit environment, we've drilled down to 10 by five. So we are very confident about our open pit resource. There's 90,000 ounces there at 2.2. Mineralized from surface, 600 metres from the plant. Bit of a no-brainer. Uh, we like to think we've cracked the code there. We're obviously not going to uh, sort of boast about it, but to me, I love these sort of jigsaw puzzles. This to me is a, is a jigsaw puzzle in itself. I think we've cracked the code here. I think we, we're onto something. There's a new structural element that interacts with the stratigraphy here. This greenstone belt always was thought of as a low-grade stratigraphic sequence. Where you find these structures intersecting with that stratigraphic sequence, you get high grade. Pretty simple. Uh, we think we can replicate the Never Never discovery. So on the left-hand side, Never Never is plunging at you in the blue. On the right-hand side, that's the Gilby's pit that everybody said was low-grade. When we looked at that data, and that's the block model you can see on the right-hand side there, when we looked at the raw data from those drill holes, you can see there's at least two high grade trends through that data. That's really important because those are actually structural intersections with that stratigraphy in the same way that Never Never has created this huge damage zone with 700,000 plus ounces in it. You've got these two other damage zones within that Gilby's pit and we're drilling those shortly. What are we doing right now? Well, right now we're drilling the ink and the arc prospect. Ink is right next to Never Never. Arc is about a thousand metres north. Uh, shallow high grade uh, sitting at ARC and we'll be happy to bring some of those, uh, those intersections and some of that information to the market shortly but we're pretty excited about what we're seeing up at ARC. Uh, we are proposing to put another 20,000 metre program out. We just finished one. We want to keep going. One of the good things about a greenstone belt is the more you drill it, the more you find. So this is what we want to do. We want to drill never, never deeper. We want to drill ink. We want to drill the two high grade structures in that Gilby's pit. We want to drill ARC. And we want to drill test some of the geophysical targets that we've identified as well. So we'll also bring that to the market shortly. There's, there's probably more targets than I want to talk about in that geophysics, so I want to refine that and actually bring that in a, in a rational way to the market and get people behind what we're seeing here. That broken code is obviously to our advantage. We've got 10, more than 10 projects underway. We, we haven't stopped doing metallurgical test work. We've obviously seen better than 92% recovery uh, overall, in a metallurgical sense, come from this 
better than 35% gravity recovery come from Never Never. So we're pretty excited about what that means for our proposed term, restart on that plant. We're looking at the mining engineering, obviously the reserve generation from the new resource, mining studies and mining schedules. We want to show people what we can do here. A bit of nerdy stuff with the geology, structural, petrological and mineralogical studies, thin sections, all that, if it can deliver more high grade ounces, then we're going to look at it from every angle. We obviously have a, an underground drill drive that we've proposed to do as well. But as a board, we're looking at that and saying, well, you know, if that costs us $12 million to do that drill drive, are we best spending it on the drill drive or are we better spending 12 million bucks on finding more never nevers? So we've got a, you know, a, a good decision path in front of us and I think we've got some pretty good options. Why invest in Gascoigne? Uh, look, substantial resource, proven high grade, proven scale, proven growth, proven team, proven infrastructure. I mean, who else has got that many high grade ounces in front of a plant that's already built? There's several uh, companies building plants at the moment. They're struggling. It's, it's a tough environment. Rising costs, rising labour cost. Uh, actually building a plant is a difficult thing. Uh, <clears throat> and I can't speak too much to the projected value of our company, but you know, when you've got a plant that probably has a replacement cost north of $200 million, my market cap is $200 million. And then you add the 700,000 ounces of high grade. M&A at the moment, about 200 bucks an ounce Aussie. You've got to do the sums. It makes, it makes a lot of sense. We're undervalued. Growth focused. We are about drilling. We will grow this. It will be, become bigger. And obviously that makes us a bit of a target. I haven't really talked about this much before, but I have to be realistic about it. We've de-risked this project. We've found all the high grade ounces. I'm 50 kilometres from my nearest competitor in Remilius. They've obviously shown an interest in M&A recently. You've got West Gold just to the north of me. Those guys would love to have those high-grade high ounces. And that's, that's pretty much the story. Thanks very much.